Yes, we are seeing the country, which is quite beautiful up here. And we're mainly with the locals, the Youpers. <laughs> so we just got to Union Bay Campground this afternoon. There's our campsite right there. Look at these spots. They are really pretty. So that's site 18, 20, 22. But take a look at behind our campsite. I'm gonna have to be careful walking down on these rocks. Now, the girl that I spoke to yesterday when we were doing that mine tour said that she was here last weekend and she saw the northern lights from the Porcupine Mountains. And I've heard that if you can see the horizon on Lake Superior and you look towards the north, that's where you would see them. So, Let's see, the sun is setting over there. So that's the west. So the north is gonna be right here. I'm gonna keep looking. Maybe we'll be able to see them. Wouldn't that be something? That would be a huge check off of my bucket list. This is really pretty here. And the temperature is perfect. And then right there's our campsite. Well, just outside of the Porkies and our Union Bay campground, there's this little plaza here and a restaurant called Cantica. Hi. That place is huge in there. I can't believe it. Well, the waitress here brought us this little photo album showing all the bears that come here. There's a mama and two cubs and several other bears. They have them all named. Pretty cool. Hopefully we'll get to see them. Fred got this great looking hamburger. Sure is. And I got a taco salad. It looks really good too. Well, I'm sorry we missed the bears but uh, we will have to come back to the restaurant there at that plaza and uh, try to catch the bears and, and take pictures of them. Right, they put out some food while we were there and the bears, they were, the bears have already been there this morning. But the ravens are there and the buzzards. That is a great little restaurant. I had a great cheeseburger there. And it is somewhat isolated and out in the middle of nowhere in this little plaza. But uh, from the dining room, you can look out the rear glass windows and hopefully see the bears come in and feed on the uh, food piles that they uh, put out there for the bears. Great little stuff. So we are driving through the Porkies and we are headed to a uh, lake in the cloud scenic viewpoint. Let's see what we have here. We had to climb a pretty steep incline to get here, but I think it was only about 300 feet, not too far.
So even though it's a short walk, it definitely helps to wear some good hiking shoes when you're traversing over some of these rocks. The forest is just beautiful here. If you see this bird out here sitting on the rock, it's kind of far away. I believe that's a loon. Some people were bird watching here yesterday and they said that there were loons out here. They said they have a very distinct call. So of all the places that we've been up here in the Upper Peninsula, this is probably the place where for us, there's the least amount of things to do. Um, this is a big area for hiking and we are not hiking this trip. So um, there's not really a whole lot for us to do. Um, nothing major, but I'm certainly gonna be looking for the Northern Lights tonight. I actually fell asleep last night and forgot to look for them, but I think there's a lot of people here that are looking for them. So it seems like everyone's walking down to this end of the park. So Fred and I are going to walk down there too. I guess you can get a better view of the sunset down here. But there's a steady flow of people walking this direction. And the camp has really filled up since, well, we got here yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty empty yesterday, but about every spot's filled now. So this is a yurt that you can rent here for the night or a few nights. Can you see in there? Yeah. They have wood. Two bunk beds, table, chair, fireplace. The window's pretty dirty, but a nice view. You can probably get a good sunset down there. Yeah, but I don't know how you can get down there. Well, you can get down there from where our campsite, just walk around, but that's a long way to walk yep. on those rocks. Yep. Well, the, the sun is setting over here, but it's kind of hard for us to get a clear shot. And these little tiny houses are for rent also. I wonder if it's occupied. I think it's occupied I think right it now. Is. You see, I have chest in the back and a hat on the table. Yeah, and the windows look open. That's a good clue. <laughs> We're gonna walk out on these rocks here. We might see. Oh, we've got it right out here, sweetheart. We found our spot. If we can get out there without breaking our necks. There it is. You There's your spot. Okay. Let's see.
I did get up a couple of times last night to look for the northern lights, but I didn't see them. I got up at about 11 o'clock and then again at about two o'clock in the morning. So I was able to check, but I didn't see anything. Well, we are starting our third day here at Porcupine mountains state park and we are headed to go get some breakfast right now the mosquitoes are so bad they're about to carry us away so well we had breakfast at the Contica restaurant again but there was no sign of bears so but it was a great breakfast this is a, this is a very nice little place to come and eat but we did make the decision while we were there that we are going to go back to the campsite and pack up and leave the girl in the restaurant said that they've had the that white nose issue with the bats and that they had, had a very healthy bat population here a few years ago and that white nose disease the same thing that decimated the bats at mammoth cave but the white nose has um, decimated the bat population here and perhaps that's been the reason for the increase of all these mosquitoes thank you so much for watching this will be our last video in the porcupines uh, we are now headed to Mackinac Island. Please be sure you subscribe. This next site should be great. We're really looking forward to it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Epouffet Bay, maybe? Is that French? Founder came from Canada, Quebec, which is heavily French, I think. So it must be a French word. Very pretty. 29. Look at that unique little trailer. So the sites down by the water are very nice. And I understand that this is the only campsite in the Porkies in the state park here that has electricity. This is site 33, but it's not on the water. And this is Monday. This is Memorial Day. So I think a lot of people have cleared out. It was probably pretty busy here over the weekend. These are the sites on the, the, the far end of the park. They back up these woods. They're, they're nice too. 43. That's 48. 